Look where the parallels are. Here, here. This is your, this is your direct quote. BDS does not work because Israel is not a colonial entity. How is Israel not a colonial entity? It's very simple. It's very simple, and we will talk about okay, it tonight. Okay, Israel is not a colonial. Uh, Entity. And so settlements are not colonial settlements. They start on built on stolen land. The Palestinian Absolutely. land. What, what are you saying? Look, can, okay. you, can you stop shouting? Yes. Yes. You want me to know? You want me to know? Israel is not a colonial setting. It has some colonial symptoms. A person who has some symptoms of of brain cancer is not necessarily suffering of no, brain cancer. This is, this is a very simple issue. This is, okay. this is a very Mandela simple said, issue. Said, said and as you know, is, as you know, is, as one minute, one minute, my book, yeah, okay. my book, elaborate on the issue. Sorry, Ms. Arnie. My book elaborate on the issue, and it is supported by the biggest list of <coughs> Palestinian supporter academics and they wouldn't support me if I would talk rubbish. Okay, that's really yeah. Yeah. Okay. To be a Zionist, for yeah. me Zionism Back equals then. oppression, yeah. Yeah. equals racism, right? Yeah. So to be a racist means to accept that more than anything else, one is primarily a Jew. So you are you saying know, all Jews you know, are racist. Do you, know where this, do you know where this quote is taken from? It is a one minute. Sentence. No, no, no. no, okay. it's, no. Where is it? This quote is taken from in reference to Chaim Weizmann. Do you know who Chaim Weizmann was? No, Chaim Weizmann was the, the prominent Zionist leader in the late 19th century. He was the, the first, first president, president of, of Israel. The Israel. Chaim Weizmann said, you know, and you're I'll David Finn, you exactly you So you are Chaim quoting Weizmann. Israeli presidents when yes. I am quoting at you. Don't shout people. at me. No, I'm not shouting. Okay, I'm so just, I'm trying to I'm teach you something. Really, yeah, All right? Okay. So, so, yeah, very yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, 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 listen. You, you, you came in the quote, I tell you where this quote is from. Listen, all of you carefully. No, Kai Weizmann, Kai Weizmann, Kai Weizmann said, there are no American Jews or French Jews. There are Jews who live in America and Jews who live in France. Because I'm questioning, they're wondering who, with a queer big question mark. And basically my book is there to question, to question what is it that makes Jews, for instance, within the Palestinian Solidarity Movement, working together in a racially segregated cells. I can see that some of you are uh, concerned with my ideas, and I think that you are more than welcome to come upstairs and to express your concerns. This is the only way to elaborate on some crucial issues. Thank you so much. We are going up. Um, so first of all, I'll introduce myself. Uh, so I'm Irving Rappaport. Uh, by profession these days, I'm various things, but I'm definitely a mediator, a mediation trainer, and I work in Parliament often where I co-founded a group called the All-Party Parliamentary Group on Conflict. So in, um, in that role, I facilitate quite a lot of meetings in Parliament, and I guess that's why I've been asked to do it here. I am going to attempt to be absolutely impartial as far as a human being can be. Of course, it's impossible, but I'm going to try. And in fact, I'm going to invite you, if you think I'm less than impartial, just to put your hand up and say, partial, because sometimes I need the feedback. All right, but that, my job is not to have an opinion, just to help the meeting go smoothly. So the guidelines, um, well, let me just in introduce the speakers first. Uh, on my right here is Glenn Bowman. What? I said hello. Hello, right. He's a social anthropologist who's worked in Jerusalem and the West Bank through the last 25 years. He's concerned with religion and identity politics, an interest which also involved him in uh, what used to be called Yugoslavia between 1990 and the present day. On my left is Oren Bendor. He's um, a reader in the philosophy of law at the University of Southampton. He's the co-author of Constitutional Limits and the Public Sphere, 
Thinking About Law in Silence with Heidegger, as well as the editor of Law and Art, Ethics, Aesthetics, Justice. Um, Oren writes on the uncanny origin of political emergence, as well as on originary violence in Palestine. He explores the existential relationship between the Jewish and the Zionist questions. Now, I don't know, were you born in Israel? Yeah. He was born in Israel as well. Mm. Great. Are you Jewish? Kosi Kosi. Pass. Yeah. yeah, okay. Just want to identify who we are. By the way, I am Jewish. I'm not. And he's not. Yeah, I don't think I was. Okay, so that's all right. Uh, Carl Sabat is a very famous journalist, television producer, and the author of several books, including A Rum Affair, Power into Art, Dr. Ryman Zeros, and Palestine, A Personal History. He's currently the publisher of Hesperus Press. Uh, finally, in case anybody doesn't know him, Gilad Atzmon on the end there, who's the writer of this book, is an internationally acclaimed jazz saxophonist and composer, and he's been described by some as a self-hating Jew. We'll explore that later. His books and essays, some of which have been uh, accused of being anti-Semitic, for example by The Guardian recently, are published widely, and his new book, The Wandering Who, which I just showed you, which is stacks of them over there, too many obviously, a study of Jewish identity not. politics, uh, has been praised by some of the world's most respected scholars, but it's also been condemned by, amongst others, the Jewish Chronicle as, quote, an unambiguously anti-Semitic book. So that's the introductions over. So just a few guidelines for tonight, just so that we all get the most out of it. I will ask the panel here to open up with no more than 10 minutes each. And I stress the no more than. We don't mind if they do less. The whole point of that is so that they can keep concise, because I know one in particular likes to talk quite a lot, and, um, and also so that you, the audience, have as much time as possible to ask your questions and interact, which will make for an interesting um, meeting. So there are three questions I have asked the panel to address before I sit down and uh, set the scene, Barbara, Barbara. Number one, and these are the questions for you, and we'll remind you about them later. Is it possible to talk about Jewish history, ideology, and identity without being accused of being anti-Semitic? That's the first question. Second question, what is Gilad Atzman trying to achieve with this book, The Wandering Who? Third question, this self-hating Jew business, what's that all about? Let's dig into that, because it, it's quite fascinating.